in cardiology, I think the potential to utilize AI or machine learning is, is actually huge. Uh, is, is huge because in cardiology we use a lot of data sets and, and AI is based on the data. The quality of the AI is based on the quality of the data and the quality of the analysis. So what kind of data we have in cardiology? We have uh, clinical data, we have the electronic uh, health records that com contains multiple clinical data, laboratory, etc. We have ECG, which is a huge set of, of, of data that can be derived from the ECG tracing. We have uh, non-invasive uh, um, data derived from uh, multiple cardiac imaging uh, tests such as echo, cardiogra uh, cardiogram, uh, at rest and during stress. Uh, just think about the amount of information that can be derived from cardiac echo, nuclear imaging, cardiac CT, cardiac MRI, and obviously uh, the CAT lab. You have the angiogram, but it's not only the angiogram, the intravascular imaging, whether it's IVUS, whether it's OCT, and coronary physiology. Not mentioning that it's not just about coronary, it's also structural work that we are doing now with valvular heart disease, structural heart disease, congenital heart disease. So all these are huge sets of data that can be utilized in, in the fashion of uh, AI, machine learning, in order to make uh, uh, improved diagnostics, improved predictions uh, about uh, optimized uh, therapeutics uh, outcomes in terms of cardiovascular outcome, procedural outcome, um, rehospitalization, uh, mortality measures, etc. So the potential to, to utilize the AI is really uh, very diverse and very meaningful. I think that uh, uh, cardiologists would be able to be assisted by AI and machine learning technologies and platforms. Uh, I'm pretty confident uh, this is how we are going to practice and we already see the trends in uh, various fields of uh, medicine. Uh, for example, if you take uh, uh, imaging, especially CT, Machine learning and AI is start to play a very um, major role in the interpretation of uh, CTs and uh, augmenting or boosting the uh, professional capabilities of uh, radiologists and even cardiac imager uh, to make diagnostics and make some uh, better uh, predictions of the interpretation of the imaging. I think that we start to see some uh, technologies or emerging technologies in the cat lab in terms of how to interpret it, better interpret it, coronary um, angiograms, integrating with physiology and cardiac imaging, uh, certainly with cardiac CT, uh, calcium score as a bystander uh, product for other non-cardiac analysis as well as dedicated cardiac imaging. So yes, I think that it's not only about the future, I think it's also about what is already going on. And also I would like to point that I don't think we are over with the COVID, but uh, during the last two and a half years, AI played a pivotal role uh, in COVID from the bedside in the interpretation of X-ray and CTs, distinguishing between COVID and non-COVID pathologies, and on the large scale of the epidemiology in order to predict what is imminent, what is going to happen, how the trends of the epidemiology, all this was based on AI and machine learning capabilities. So, I think we are already there and it's certainly very, very interesting and I think it's going to improve and augment and assist what we are doing.